Hello, it's Thursday, February the 4th, uh, 2021. We're looking at the Psalms together and we're in this wonderful section known as the Ascent Psalms, the 15 Psalms from 120 through 134, written by different authors over a period of almost, I think, a thousand years, uh, but were collated together after the exile uh, as pilgrim psalms to sing as they make a journey. And the, the caravan of these journeys might have been uh, several hundred, uh, picking up more and more as they made their way, maybe from Arabia, maybe from North Africa, maybe from uh, the Black Sea district, uh, all the way down to Jerusalem, spending many weeks. Uh, and as they perhaps uh, engaged in worship together, they might have uh, recited, sung these psalms. At least we have no evidence of any of that. But that does seem to make a lot of sense and as to why uh, they were collated. Some of ascents because they were ascending. In the final stages, they'd be ascending uh, to Mount Zion where Jerusalem uh, is. Now, Psalm 124, uh, a Davidic psalm this time, uh, if it had not been the Lord who was on my side, let Israel now say, if it had not been the Lord who was on our side when people rose up against us, then they would have swallowed us up alive when their anger was kindled against us. Then the flood would have swept us away. The torrent would have gone over us. Then over us would have gone the raging waters. Blessed be the Lord who has not given us as prey to their teeth. We have escaped like a bird from the snare of the fowlers. The snare is broken and we have escaped. And um, this, is, uh, this is a psalm uh, that was dear and important to John Calvin in Geneva uh, in the Reformation. When John Calvin came to Geneva in 1536, and when he returned after his exile in Strasbourg in 1541, he set about the conditions of his return were the reform of worship. And he wrote uh, liturgies. He had written these liturgies while he was in exile in Strasbourg, and one of the liturgies was for the Strasbourg uh, French-speaking church, and the other was for the Geneva uh, French-speaking church. And uh, he examined every aspect of the liturgy, but the, the service began with a call to worship. Uh, here at First Presbyterian Church in Columbia, South Carolina, we begin every service, morning and evening, with a call to worship. And typically, um, exclusively, uh, that call to worship is a verse from Scripture. And more often than not, my call to worship uh, would be the last verse of Psalm 124. Our help is in the name of the Lord who made the heavens and the earth. Our help is in the name of the Lord, in our creator, sovereign, powerful God. We come into the presence of this sovereign, omnipotent God who brought everything into being, but he's our daily source of help. I do that because that was John Calvin's call to worship in Geneva the, throughout the entirety of the um, years, uh, almost 25 years, uh, and he died uh, relatively young. I, uh, I, I'm older than John Calvin uh, now. Uh, and uh, uh, that was the call to worship every Sunday morning and evening as he preached. Our help is in the name of the Lord who made the heavens and the earth. Uh, that's true for you and that's true for me. Well, have a wonderful day tomorrow. We'll have a, uh, a fun Friday, a fun facts Friday. Uh, and uh, David Hodges and I will be uh, somewhere in Jackson Hall uh, tomorrow, uh, looking at various bits and pieces in Jackson Hall. and who will have some guests during the course of February. Well, have a wonderful day and have a wonderful weekend. We hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, and you want to make sure you get all of our content, not just videos, but podcasts and ministry updates, make sure you download our app. If you think you might have missed a video, 
click on our YouTube channel. A link should be down below. There you can see all of our videos. And if you want to make sure you don't miss anything in the future, hit subscribe. If you want to be one of the first ones to know when we release a video, hit that little bell icon. And if this video has blessed you and you can think of someone else that it might help, use that share icon and send it to them. All, of course, for the edification of God's people and the glory of his name. Until next time, God bless.